Alrighty, YouTube. Thank you guys for turning, tuning back in to Bird of Prey RC. This one's going to be a really, really short one, and unfortunately today I don't have any flying footage. However, within the next couple of days, I will be going through the flight footage I got today and posting that up sometime in the middle of the week. So it just kind of is what it is. I got home a little late today, and I have probably a good half hour, 45 minutes of footage to go through, edit, and everything else. Um, so kind of the topic for today is just spreading the hobby. As I'm going out flying, I'm seeing a lot of people that come up and talk to me. They want to ask questions about my multi-rotor, about the planes that I have, uh, where to get them, so on and so forth. And I know this bothers a lot of people, and definitely talking while wearing your FPV goggles gets a little difficult. Trying to multitask what's going on probably 50, 100, 300 yards away, and then multitask trying to talk to someone here. I can do it, but not very well. Um, I actually, earlier on in the week, had a little kid and his mom, they were jogging by as I was flying my Vendetta and they came all the way back and they caught us just as we were packing up to go home and they, the little kid was just amazed at all of it and he wanted to get into the hobby and it's just it's a great feeling to be able to talk about it and be able to educate them and show them where to go and how everything works it's it's really a phenomenal feeling and I love teaching people how to fly, I love helping them out um, kind of the whole topic for, yeah, spreading the hobby. One of the biggest things to consider when you're getting into the RC hobby is <clears throat> what kind of flying do you want to do? What is your end goal? Do you want to do cinematography, such as the camera ships like the, the Mavic Pro, the Phantom, a custom build camera ship. Do you want to do FPV racing, such as the Vendetta or uh, some other of the smaller quads? Do you want to just do scale flying, per se, Zazzy, which is in my truck right now, or a beautiful Balsa J3 Cub, or so on and so forth? It all just depends on where you want to go, where you want to take your hobby and what your comfort level is. It's just... That's how you gotta base what you're buying and how you're going about all this. Me, I'm in a bit of an adrenaline junkie and I like the speed and I like the power and I just... I can't get enough of it. And that's where I'm taking my hobby and taking you guys along for the ride. Um, it's just how it goes. Yeah, I do end up breaking a lot of props. I actually started my little Amazon box of broken props. That's not even it's not even half of the props that I've broken. And I've I've done up some of these pretty good. Little HQ five by four three props. Tend to go through a few a day. In my average day of flying, I go through about four, almost five propellers for the Vendetta. Mostly it's part of my skill level. The other part is it's just part of the hobby. It really is. There's nothing I can do about that. You're going to break something, otherwise you ain't having fun. Uh, but you also got to be really careful about where you're flying and when you're flying. I'll tell you line of sight on a black carbon fiber multi-rotor with only one light at the rear is not good at night. It really isn't. I dropped it a couple of times. Nothing too horrible. And thankfully the uh, Team Black Sheep antennas for the FPV is very, very durable. Actually, the whole Vendetta is really durable. Um, I'm really loving it. And I just did the uh, 4S upgrade, and oh my goodness, it is a freaking rocket ship right now. Kind of scary. 
Um, it, it just, it really is. And I've got to hand it to the guys over at Flight Test, over to Rotor Riot, uh, Konosai FPV, Johnny FPV, all of those guys. They really are amazing. They've helped me out a lot. Um, and it's just expanding my love for the hobby. And I'm really excited to have you guys with me. But bear with me and please stay tuned. I will be having that new footage up probably about Wednesday. I might have to go reshoot some of it because it was raining. But we'll see. Thank you guys. Uh, like, subscribe, dislike, let me know what you guys think. And I'll be back pretty soon.